Hello. I'm just going to do a quick vid for you guys. Um, these three litre heads are uh, quite prone for cracking if they get overheated. I um, just want to show you a quick way of uh, checking them at home and saving yourself a few dollars and wasting time and money having a machine shop check them. Now this particular head I've already identified as being cracked but I'm going to show you how that was easily done. Uh, simple with simple home tools. <clears throat> now this one I've given it a clean and a, a bead blast as well which helps but look you can just give it a really good clean with some degreaser and then in particular the areas you want to look at is in between the valleys here where the water jacket is that's where they tend to crack up along here. Um, no visible signs of cracking but this casting is actually quite quite a bad casting when you look at it there's a lot of um, you know whether where the metal hasn't flown as or flowed as well as it should have done when it was um, molten and you can see that all around here bits and daggy bits all over the place so that to me makes things a little bit suspect as well um, you can see here all this you know a poor casting is usually going to crack whether you want it or, or not um, and look over time they will do it if they get hot they soften up and then they'll just crack along where these imperfections were <coughs> now there's one thing that i was a bit suspect here i don't know if you can see it there but along here there's a there's a molding mark along here you know it's, it's not in the usual spot where they tend to crack <coughs> but you know what i'm going to do now <coughs> you, can, so you can give it a good clean and um dry it off because the idea is once you've given it a clean, okay, it's going to be nice and bright and shiny. And a bit, a bit of carby clean will get the um, the tarnish and stuff off as well. Um, but it'll leave, if there is any cracks, the fluid will actually flow into the crack. So what we're going to do now is use just a blowtorch. You can use propane, but I prefer Matte Pro. And we're just going to heat the area. Now, if you bear in mind, in a minute. Um, okay. One handed again. You see how that dries out in the area? Nothing showing up there. turn this head around you'll be able to see that better on this side Suspecting an area around there. Mm. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now, and this particular cylinder head has had some damage on that cylinder there. So we'll have a look. We'll go back and have a look at this side. Now that area there seems to be okay, although you can see where the casting shadow is. So we'll go back and have a look at this other side, run up again. Ah, yes. 
there. I'll turn that round actually. You'll be able to see that better. That casting there. Uh, tilt that a bit. See? See how the dark line's starting to come up? Where before it was nice and clean, we're starting to get a dark line there. So I'm going to hit that again. See the dark, what's happening from the capillary reaction is all the uh, fluid that went down inside the crack is now starting to bubble up out of that crack. So yeah, that head is now cracked and it is of no use to us. Interestingly, this is cracked around the inlet port, not around the water jacket, through, normally through here, but around there. So and given that this, this cylinder is actually one that's had a problem with you can see there, damage in the piston. Um, it was a bit of a suspect area, so yeah. So look, that was a quick and easy way. Give it a clean, wipe it down dry, so that anything that's left in it's in a crack, and anything that's suspect, just apply a little bit of heat to it. It's not enough to cause damage. I mean, I can touch that now, so it's not enough, uh, you know, to actually cause any damage to a, a good head. But it's enough that if there is somewhere where you suspect there's a crack, um, it'll show up because all the oil and stuff that was in there and the crack will start bubbling out of the crack. Hope this helps and saves you guys some money.